Blue has the capacity to knock the snot out of the strongest of us, and it's no respecter of persons. Everyone's at risk. If the US is anything to go by, we may be in for a rough winter too. Reports from the state suggest that their flu season has been the worst since 2009, resulting in the deaths of nearly 100 children already. We know that avoiding the flu completely is almost impossible, so what else can we do to keep ourselves out of bed? Well, by far the most effective way to prevent flu is to have the annual flu vaccine. And I say annual because the vaccine itself changes each year. There's a group of experts, germ geeks some might call them, who study virus samples collected from around the world. They then tweak the vaccine recipe every year based on those viruses that are most likely to cause illness during the upcoming coming flu season. But instead of telling you what to do and telling you that you must get the jab, we're going to practice what we preach and I'm going to give the flu jab to my co-presenter, Seta. You ready for this? You might need to take your jacket off, Seta. Oh uh, yeah, mm. I'm preparing myself. Is this jab for everybody? <laughs> Taking one for the team. Uh -huh. <laughs> the vaccine is a safe and effective tool and therefore recommended for everyone. But there are specific groups for whom it's a little more important like those who are at a high risk for flu and its complications because of underlying medical conditions like heart disease, HIV and diabetes. Yep. That would include everyone over the age of 65 too. Children over the age of six months can also get the vaccine. The dosage is slightly different in children up to the age of 12, but definitely safe for them. What about preggy ladies? It's safe. Changes in the immune system during pregnancy make pregnant women more prone to severe illness from flu. Oh, Michael. I'm really clear. I haven't even injected you. I'm just cleaning. <laughs> Thankfully, the flu shot is safe to get at any time during any trimester. All right, are you ready for this? Okay, here you go. Should I count down or just give it to you? Just go. Three, two, one, boom. Ooh. There you are. Fairly painless, huh? Yeah, that was okay. Not too bad. So what you're saying is the flu jab is pretty much for everybody. Huh? Besides children younger than six months, if you have any egg-based allergies or have had a previously bad reaction to the vaccine, then you should talk to your doctor before having the jab. If you currently have the flu or any other condition with a high fever, then you need to wait a few weeks until you're fully recovered before getting the vaccine. I should have asked you that. You're fine, eh? No fevers. No, fevers. I'm okay, okay. okay just check. <laughs> we all know how much you um, love to bust the odd myth. Uh, will getting the vaccine really make us get flu? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, no, never, nada. When you get a flu shot like the one said it just got, you're not being injected with a whole virus, you're getting an inactivated or a dead virus. So it can't make you sick. How effective though is the vaccine really? Studies have shown that protection from the vaccine in healthy adults is 70 to 90% when the recipe is well matched to the actual strains that come along that year. When's the best time to get the jab? Hmm, good question. Last year, the flu arrived in week 21, which was the end of May. It takes the immune system about two to three weeks to produce sufficient antibodies against flu strains in the vaccine. This means that the best time to be vaccinated against the flu is before the end of April. However, it's never too late. And you know that, Seta. Vaccination during the flu season is still beneficial as the virus circulates well into winter and early spring. You can have a flu jab at, the, at most doctors, clinics and pharmacies countrywide. The vaccine is painless. <laughs> at least that's what you have to tell your kids. And the good news is that the majority of medical schemes cover the cost as an additional benefit to members. They do. And if not, prices vary according to where you have your vaccine done, but hover in the range of 65 to 75 rand. Together with a jab, there are other ways of enjoying a healthy winter. I mean, brave the cold to pound the pavements, eat your veggies, get enough shut eye. Those three lifestyle habits are well-known immune system boosters. So here's to being flu-less this winter, not clueless. My chance. Yeah. Where on are you the gonna butt. Go? Oh no, not on the butt. <laughs> mm.